long display. Hello and welcome everybody out there in YouTube and D&D land. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Before we jump into the action, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of those things help us out tremendously. If you're interested in supporting our community a little bit further, consider becoming a member here in our YouTube channel. Memberships start at just two dollars hairs a month and you gain access to some really cool emotes. Lastly, if you're interested in playing in any of our games, we currently have open slots available. Uh, we have between two and three open slots available for the uh, Tuesday early campaign. And I believe we finally just filled up our last open slot in the Friday evening campaign. Everybody in the community, Ruka's coming back to the community. It's going to be fun. You remember that person who gave you all those inspirations and you never remember their name to thank them properly? Yeah. No, it, it was before your time. You're fine, Holly. Everyone else, though, I'm going to give you shit about it. But anyways, yeah, they're coming back. They're joining that game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but also, anybody who might be watching this, this is your reminder. We are not going to have any sessions next week until the following Tuesday because I'm going to be on vacation. So... The first session back is going to be our Fantasy High campaign in Elder Mage High School. So, without further ado, go ahead, Somdi, and give us that recap. Uh, so, we last left off after just defeating the Elemental Locus of Water. Uh, and <laughs> deciding that we should probably just ignore the uh, two elementals fighting and hopefully get past it. Uh, trekking through the corridors, we eventually follow, I believe, Glenn at some memory premonition thing that led us to some place of importance. That turned out to be superficially a broom closet. Uh, which we found a, a wand keyhole thing that we could stick a wand in and it would open and it would reveal that one of the walls was, in fact, not really there or, like, would turn intangible for us to walk through. Uh, that we then spent a good 30 minutes out of, <laughs> out of, game, <laughs> out of character time trying to uh, cheat the system and get the key in the other side so we can put the key into another keyhole that we thought maybe we could open the door from there. Uh, doing so, realizing that it did in fact not do that, but instead opened up a different door inside the corridor. Uh, we later found out that door would lead to the Mirway Society headquarters in the walls. Uh, came across the door, realized that we had to put in a code phrase that... Uh, to the door that had to mean something to each of us and we spent a good another 30 minutes trying to come up with those heading in there after doing so uh, coming across the founding members of the mirror wish societies uh, not them themselves but the portraits uh, finding one of them had been ruined which belonged to the man that supposedly caused all the destruction around and split the entire academy into multiple pieces. Bruh. Bruh. Th thank you, Lily. Uh, heading back out, uh, after a good time spending there, we rush over to try and save the quote-unquote students that are definitely still there. Um... Our travel inter being interrupted by a large earth turtle and fire elephant crashing through a wall. Uh, and instead of, oh, and then getting knocked on our asses, the majority of us. Um, uh, instead of getting up and attempting to flee, uh, we decided, you know what, fuck these guys in particular, let's kill both of them. And so, after a long fought battle, we did. Um, the fire elephant exploding into a crater uh, of molten rock and the turtle 
uh, just shooting out an entire fucking fragmentation grenade of diamonds and gems and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, we then begin making our way over. Um, Reese claim Reese staying behind to sort out the now majorly bejeweled uh, hallway. So, everybody. You are now <clears throat> stuck. Following Glenn based off of his intuition of where everything is inside of this academy. Seeking the last remaining location. The place where apparently 20 students of the academy are currently in danger and this northern wind elemental is currently crashing and destroying things in that wing trying to get to them so oh i fucked up that a little bit let me change the little bit more perfect <sighs> glenn I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. <laughs> Weird stuff is happening, guys. Am I in Bart's aura? We can say so. Okay. Because you're standing in it right now before you guys actually take off. That's plus five, so 18. 18. You get a couple of visions that seem to fade into your mind and instantly leave you temporarily stunned as you shake it off and start trying to see what's actually happening and what are these visions of the past that are plaguing your mind. It's, it's a recounting of the students and walking through this corridor and creating uh, just these small moments of you hanging out with them and enjoying your time with them. Yeah, you would see Glenn just, like, lost in, in his thoughts. You kind of want to, like, hold on to that, to those memories as long as I can. All right. Uh, which way were we going again? I think it was, I think it might have been, might have been this way. Oh, start going. Everybody feel free to follow. Jeez, you guys are really beat the shit out of. Yes, Did I do that? fucked up right now. Did I do that? Oh, what you guys have seven party members. Here? I have not thrown anything at you that you can't handle. Yeah. <laughs> I, I came pretty close to die in that fight. That means I did a good job. You did. <laughs> I did a really good fight. What is... What is going on up here? It's, this room looks interesting. Yeah, this is. I think. Uh, I think this is a lecture hall, if I remember correctly. Glenn, as you step in here, charisma safe. There we go. <laughs> Hang on. Wait. There you okay. go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. That's 15. a thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen, Glenn, as you step into this room, you, you have an instantaneous vision of probably a good two dozen elves, all adorned in very fine-looking leather armors with these green and black cloaks draping down the same right side of each of them, other than the one standing up at the at the front pedestal as they are standing there addressing everybody you you have a vision of that elf in particular this strong brown uh sorry strong brown beard that stretches downwards and pure white hair that slicked all the way back um and as you have that vision of him you you can see the sword on his side um 
And there's something about that blade that makes you immediately collapse to your feet and start hyperventilating. Everybody looks over at Glenn, who is dropped down. Or sorry, not fall to your feet, fall to your knees. And you guys see him just hyperventilating, staring at that front stage. And I'll, I'll, I'll remind you guys that I don't need to breathe. Yep. I will <clears throat> run over to Glenn and just put my hand on his shoulder to see if I can steady him. Because he's still big. I, right now, I'm probably small. Yeah, 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 it's, it's probably been. It's so tedious was, going back and forth with your token. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily I'm going to give you a second token. sheet, actually. I just actually. wanted the dramatic effect of wait, 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 wait. just enveloping Glenn's head. It's there, there. Big monkey. And I would imagine that at that point, probably right around is when I touch his shoulder as this big guy, I start to shrink down his eyes. That would have been I think. Eight strong together. <laughs> Eight together strong. <laughs> All right, here. You okay, Brother Jack? Uh, uh, uh. Big monkey. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so AC, you can move that token, correct? Yeah, I think so. And I All almost right. fell back with my chair if anyone saw. There is another character sheet called Big Monkey. Uh, Glenn, can you check to make sure you can uh, interact with that token as well? All right, let's see. And try dragging Normal Monkey onto the map. So I got Big Monkey. I'm dragging it onto the map. Can you move it? Yes. All right, and both of you can move the other one as well? Yeah. All right, perfect. Delete the ones that are big. Cool. It's now problem solved. You don't ask me to make you big. You just drag and drop. I should have done this forever ago. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about anything else on the sheet. Just that's yeah, the token and use it roll for, everything for on it. your... Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Whew. Okay. So, sorry, I was distracted by making Big Monkey. Um, <laughs> Glenn fell down, and Monkey, you went over to try to assist him? Yeah, I, I go over there, and I put my hand on his shoulder to help steady him. All right. Okay, Brother Jack. Roll a medicine check. All right. All right, all right, all right. Nope. Five. You have no idea how to help somebody who's acting like this whatsoever. Is anybody in the party? Bart! You're proficient in medicine, correct? I am. Okay, so do you want to try to help Glenn break out of this whatever the fuck I it will. is? I will. I've seen now that I see it's not slowing down uh, or not slowing down as quickly as you would like um I've seen people freak out in combat before, uh, so I'm gonna start applying some of my, you know, battlefield medicine training as a soldier to help him like break out of this. And like, hey, buddy, we're with you, we got you, but we need to we need you to stay together with this. You're amongst friends. You're safe now. All right. You can try to roll a medicine check. Take that. Right. 14. As you were assisting him with this, uh, before Reese actually becomes full NPC, he would have given you an inspiration. Just since you guys I'll are still it. close enough. Yeah. Roll that D10. Well, it's a D. <laughs> 20. 20 yes, is much see. better. You, you know the first thing you have to do is try to make sure that he is not feeling enveloped, not surrounded by giving him enough space and try to distract his brain with anything else. Um, you start calling out that you need him to tell you, hey, what object am I holding up? What is this over here? What is that over there? Anything to make his mind break out of this, whatever the hell is plaguing him. Um, and as that starts to happen, Glenn, you can give me another charisma save. 
And uh, Bart told us all that, correct? Bart, did you tell us? Oh, this is him doing it. Plus five. Fourteen. 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 You come Sorry, out guys. of it momentarily, Glenn, as this is happening. Um, you have a few words to tell them. There, there's some. There's uh, there's a guy at the, at the front of the stadium. He's got a sword. I don't know. It's it's making me panic. Glenn, arms above your head. Slow, deep breaths. I'm gonna go check it out. Everyone else will keep you safe. Okay. Slow, deep breath. This is so weird. I don't need to breathe for some reason. To... Hold, okay. hold your damn breath, then. Whatever, <laughs> whatever works for you. Whatever so, you're doing. And, and Mark, did you, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you tell us that he needs his mental facilities distracted, or you just did it, now you're walking over? I, yeah, I just did it. I'm like, hey, monkey. The... Talk, to him about the, talk to him about the temple back home. Keep his mind off this. I'm going to go up yeah. to the, that altar and check it out. Got it keep his mind. I'm gonna, while Bart goes over there, I'm gonna step to, oh, come on. Oh, I'm trying to drag Cornwallis. No wonder. I'm yeah, you're also stuck of... in the wall. There you go. Oh, is that a wall? That red thing's a wall? No, no, no. You were stuck right here, which is in between. Oh, that's why I couldn't. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna step in, in front of Glenn, and I pull out my devil sticks, and I'm gonna use my devil sticks while I tell him the story about the temple. Alright. So that maybe the Maybe the motion of the sticks flipping and flopping will get him to kind of like reverse hypnotize them. Okay. Bart and Samdi, as you get up there, uh, monkey performance, uh, but Bart and Samdi, as you both approach up there, what are the two of you doing? Praying that I don't need to get in a fight this fucked up. <laughs> okay. But I will also use one of my divine senses to ping out, see if I can detect any kind of presence here, or if it is genuinely just like a retrieved memory from Glenn. You do not sense any foreign entities within close proximity to you, outside of the usual ones. Yeah. Shit. This might actually just be in his head. Somdi. What are you doing up uh, here? So, it's a lecture hall, right? Yes. I am going to be checking around what I assume to be some sort of podium. Right there. See if there's anything of interest. Just investigating in, in general. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, looking up here, most of the crashing and rubble that happened thanks to the Earth Elemental uh, did knock over almost everything within probably 100 feet of wherever that creature was. It was ridiculous how powerful its stomps were. Looking up here, aside from the broken pieces and rubble and such, you're not finding much else. The paperwork seems to be all gone. Uh, there's no writing utensils on the desk whatsoever. There's there's nothing here. Um, Monkey, your performance is raining very well. Uh, enough to momentarily distract Glenn. Glenn, give another charisma save. Uh, yep. Okay. Four. Glenn? I really like I really like that story about your journey to the West, Monkey. With three fails, you are now incapacitated. That's like the last words you hear, and then I collapse. <laughs> he is Bar. speaking incomprehensible words and language, and staring out into almost nothingness. Art, get over here! Ah, shit! I yell out. I'm going to run back. You may roll a medicine check to see what's wrong. I don't know shit. <laughs> you were trained oh. at this moment that if somebody becomes like this during a major battle, you either put them in a safe space and leave, 
or you leave. Unfortunately, that is the harsh reality of your yeah. medical training. Does he still look... Um... Oh, god damn it. Um... For the purposes of spells, does Glenn count as undead? Uh, I, I do. Believe... I register. I register as undead. Yeah. You would detect. I'm. So my my one fallback here that I have is this is kind of a dick move, but I I'm tempted to just yell a command at him of snap out of it. But wow. <laughs> command has no effect if you are undead. And it doesn't understand you. So, is he a responsive in any way? Incapacitated, non-responsive. Okay. Well, plan the third. I slap him. He is still incapacitated after a slap. Maybe we Fuck. should take him out of this room. Yeah, that seems like the only remaining option. Let's let's get him out of here. Glenn doesn't weigh much, does he? I'm just going to yeah. walk up to Glenn. <laughs> I'm a strength 21 hippo. Absolutely. And I'm just going to grab him by his shirt and kind of lift him over my shoulder. Yeah. And just carry him out of the room. Less like, than a maybe... sack of potatoes. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, like soaking wet, maybe. <laughs> Glenn well, is a that feather was... to Cornwallis. <laughs> that was mildly masculating, but... <laughs> you don't weigh much, do you? Oh, oh. <laughs> So. If he wasn't a friend, I just would have carried him out by the shirt, but he is a friend, so he does get fed lifted onto the shoulder. Oh, he's a friend. <laughs> he's not Reese. Anyways. Um... Oh, yeah, Reese, I would have left. <laughs> <laughs> or dragged him out by his foot so his head bounced yeah, on the stairs. Just yeah. dragged by the ankle. <laughs> so, you're dragged out of the room, and at this moment, you guys have spent about 10 minutes looking around trying to find things, and after dragging him out of the room, about ten minutes after that, Glenn, you finally break out of whatever it is. Your mind was wrapping around what was happening in that lecture hall. <laughs> All of the Glenn Striders were together, every single one of them. They were summoned to that room and were notified that there must be a traitor amongst the Blatera Academy. Or sorry, the Blatera or Bolera? Bolera, I think. The Bolera it's, Academy. It's actually Blatera. Blatera. Oh, is it? It's the it's Bolera, Bolera the Coast. Coast. Yeah. Blatera Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, alliteration sometimes fucks you up. But anyways. As you were recalling this, you're not sure who that leader is. That's you know he's the leader of all the glens. He is the one who's supposed to be in charge of every single one. He was outlining that there may be a glen ripper inside of the academy hiding amongst everybody else. And that this glen ripper might be influencing the students. Trying to get them to disrupt the flow of magic on the day of the convergence which is oh damn let's mute you real quick there we go problem solved sorry get, i get easily distracted by that shit Uh, you can roll into, like, Fortress, and I'll read that after, but maybe. Um, as I was saying, he was outlining that potentially there was a Glen Ripper in disguise trying to influence the students and trying to find a way to utilize the thinning of the veils to perform a incredibly dangerous and hereditary heretical type of magic uh, he warned that they need to be looking out for anybody who might be remotely suspicious and you just remember while you were seated there that you felt like what you were experiencing just now but you handled it much better 
You felt that anxiety. You felt that fear for your life. You were terrified of that mage up there. Keep in mind... Oh, actually, I'm not sure if you knew this already, but because of this memory, you would remember every single Glen Strider is a blade singer. That is nope. their class. They are the inventors and performers. Oh my gosh. I did not know that beforehand, but yeah, yeah. You're all good. Genesis, you can roll into like Fortress in chat, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, Glenn's just like snapping out of it. He's just going to repeat the name Venture Glenn Strider, Venture Glenn Strider, Venture Glenn Strider. Oh, that, that can be useful. That would have been very useful <laughs> to give him advantage on those saves. Sorry. No, no, that's, no that's okay. you're good. Uh, uh, that's great. Yeah, this, this is great. You're also pretty much out of spell slots at this point, right? <laughs> <laughs> Until you take a short rest. They might oh, have my. one left. I can't remember. Yeah. It what? was you or Bart that used them. But anyways, Glenn begins coming out of it. What, what happened? Is, are we all? Did we, did we, did we save the kids? What What do you remember, Venture? And I say that purposely because he had just been saying Venture Glenn Strider coming out of it. What do you remember, Venture? It was there was a there was a meeting, and they said that there was there was a traitor. I don't. I don't want to believe it. It might have, it might have been me. They said venture. They said you were the traitor, or they just no, no, no. They said there was. Well, they said there was a Glenn Ripper amongst amongst us, and that he was trying to do something. Oh no, we, we got to save those kids. That's that's all. That's all I'm focused on right now. We 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 got. There's got to be another way through. I mean, I could. We should head out if you if you're capable, Brother Jack. I, I guess by now I was snapping out of it. I realized, wait a minute, you guys are all, you guys look all pretty banged up. You, you sure you sure you guys can continue? It depends on what's ahead. Maybe uh, maybe it's best if we do protect ourselves first before heading into whatever we're heading in. I think we should rest and make sure you're okay and that I'm okay. I gotta imagine if we rest that our decision's going to be made for us. There is a group of kids facing that elemental after all the three we faced. I don't imagine they're going to survive another hour. That's true. Let's go. And I start heading out. I mean, uh, Joey, through my memories, was, was the lecture, through the lecture hall the only way to get to the students? To that area uh through the lecture hall uh over in this stairwell over here is where you would be able to uh start heading down corridors that'll pop you out inside of that wing it is the closest way but you'll have to get through the lecture hall to do that also keep in mind everybody it has been 20 minutes so far i i mean i could I could close my eyes and you guys can just just guide us through but it's going to be down that staircase over there to the to the right side well glenn all aboard the cornwallis express we're going through yeah we can blindfold you someone remind me the music box don't we have a music box um, Reese, Reese has one. Yeah, yeah, Reese has one. But Reese, trying to remember what he right. I'm trying to remember what he recorded. He recorded that dirge of the dead from oh, the Hades, which <laughs> Glenn was even... immune to, but nobody oh, else true. was. Yeah, everyone else was. I was just thinking we could. Well, I was thinking we could blindfold him and put the music box near his ear so he couldn't hear anything. But we're not playing that song. So... 
I'll just carry him until we get through the room. Okay. I'll put a blindfold on him, if you allow me. Yeah. So, I don't know if I, if I could resist not opening my eyes and wanting to look at the memories. So, you move back into the room, and with the blindfold, you actually make it through here perfectly fine, Glenn. Once you get over to the stairwell and begin descending downwards... there will be a music change. Even from the stairs, the environment around you begins to change dramatically. The sense, the once serene landscape of the calmness of these various corridors transforms into a sense of tumultuous chaos with dark storm clouds gathering even in the short ceilings that all of you are currently experiencing. Lightning crackling somewhere in the distance becomes very real to each of you. The air seems to also crackle with energy and you can feel the static electricity prickling at your skin and hairs, causing them to all stand on air. As you are walking closer, the pressure in the air intensifies, pressing down upon you like a weight, as if you were standing on top a towering mountain peak. The swirling winds grow stronger with each step you take, their deafening roar drowning out all other sounds and leaving you feeling small and insignificant in their presence. You approach to the last door that you know when you open this, Glen. You are going to be within a hundred feet or so of those rooms where the students are supposed to be located. But even from this distance behind this door, you can feel the energy of whatever wind is plaguing this environment. All right, guys. I think uh, I think this is it. Oh. Now, I think the immediate plan is if I open this door and we see that the students are not students, then we just leave and we go back. We go back to the to the either well, either you're, the command. You're entering into a corridor. Sorry, not the room where the students are, but the area where this wind elemental is trying to get to them oh okay okay oh uh, well then are we are you guys ready <laughs> ready to go through Damn it. why are you token i guess it was really hoping we'd know whether the students really were worth saving or not but it doesn't seem like we're gonna have that option i mean we could try we could try like sneaking about if anybody's got like you know any sort of abilities to do that and try to take a peek over so we're not like making a like a big fuss just jumping in does anybody have invisibility can somebody just like sneak in there and sneak around and through and see if the students are students and then sneak back out see i can't do that but i'm out of juice so i can't oh. do that yeah stealth is not really our party's strong point Okay. I'm actually really good at it, but I can only do it for a short period of time. The main issue we're coming against is that we've all been through many fights and battles and we're kind of on our last breath. So yes, he yes. hasn't gotten through the door yet. No, I have not. Evidently. No, 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 no. I don't think the monster has gotten through the door yet, as far as we can tell. Can you talk to the... To the... The crest? Yeah. See whether they've gotten through the door yet? I mean, we can try and rest long enough until we know something happened and see if we can eke out a rest, but it depends upon how close they are to getting through the door and if Crest can tell us that or not. 
Yeah. I guess I would shout out. Crest, are you there? Hello, Glenn Strider. How may I be of assistance? <laughs> how far? Can you tell me the, uh, how far away the, either the element elementals are or the students are right now? You are currently standing within the proximitable, uh, within the proximity of the winds and torrents of the elemental of the northern air. The students should be within 100 feet behind a door that is currently holding firm against the tyrants of the air. Well, Brother Jack, maybe we can rest and have a... Uh... Oh, I just forgot its name. Quest, Kravitz, Kravitz, Crest. something. Crest. Crest. <laughs> Maybe we can have Crest notify us if that door opens. I think, I think that's a doable plan. What rank that were you we given can... again, Monkey? Uh, I was like uh, assistant to someone. Assistant to the regional manager? Yep. <laughs> Call me Dwight. Assistant no, to um, the headmaster. Yeah. The headmaster, yeah. yeah. Headmaster. Very well. Oh, the, the student advisor to the headmaster. Okay, that's what you were given. Um, very apt suggestion. Warranting one gold star. <laughs> I should be capable of monitoring and letting you know right before the door does get crossed and its threshold and magic is destroyed. Thank you. All right. right, then everybody, break time. You know, I just find the nearest wall and I collapse down with the rest. So, you guys are going to attempt to take a short rest. Whew. Attempt. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a dice roll, guys. Who wants the responsibility of rolling the D100? Ooh, me, me. Oh, I was muted. Carl got there first. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Carl. I was going to vote for Carl. So, so I'm dummy. because I'm feeling villainous today, <clears throat> you have to roll a 13 or lower, and I'm taking 69 as my success. So there's a roughly 15% chance that we don't get interrupted. No, there's a 15% chance that you do get interrupted. Okay. And it's a 14. It's 13 and then yeah. one more number, so 14. Yeah. 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 Hey. Fuck you, Carl. <laughs> Today is the TPK, guys. Shit. Let me go turn off the stove while we right back. Not necessarily. Okay, let him go do that. It's not necessarily a TPK yet, guys. So Mephistopheles shows up, got it. Nah, it's Levistus again. Get fucked. Um... No, no, that's a one. That's a one. <laughs> I am not getting traumatized again. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> As you guys are resting, beginning to tend to your wounds and trying to gather your residual magical energies and powers. Unfortunately, Crest chimes in. 12 seconds before door is inevitably destroyed and students' lives are in danger. Eleven. Uh, ten. Take my hat, tip it up, nine, and I get up and I start running. Yeah. Go! Bust through the door. Time to move, guys. Okay. Let's follow the rest of them. <sighs> Saw the two and I knew that was going to happen. I told you. Oh. I told you. 13 or lower and then 69. No, no. I, I only saw one of the dice rolls. No. The other one was behind the screen. The only one that mattered. Yeah, the two. I know what that is. 
I know what that is as well. We're I know what it is. We're dead. Game over, guys. I told you guys, it's the most powerful one. Why didn't you believe it? Just, me? Yeah, as, so I'm just going to stay by the door. Just look. So. Yeah. As um, you... Yeah? No, Samdi would not be too interested in saving the kids at this point. So he's just, like, staying by the door and waiting for reactions. So, as you all step through the door, opening it up immediately, you're kind of, like, fighting the door to, like, pull it open as it's getting sucked back in. You can feel the rush of wind and energy pulsating off of this gargantuan serpentine-like creature made out of clouds, wind, and lightning itself. As it is rolling around slamming against many of the walls and pillars and slamming its entire body against the doors. You are hearing these thunderous roars echoing off of it, and just the presence of this creature makes the atmosphere, makes the pressure, makes everything in here incredibly difficult to deal with. As you begin taking that in, you all notice that at this distance, you can barely hear one another as you're getting ready to aim and shoot down course for monkey or getting ready to dive into the fight for everybody else you know that this fight is going to have some unforeseen effects and features go ahead and roll that initiative everybody i'm just gonna be dead any students that we see on the other side of the nope uh, they're through a door holy shit i rolled good why do you I Why did do you good make today. The day that you roll a twenty-eight to finish. To... Hey, it could have been last God week. God damn it! Dennis says you have a you have a, uh, a D eight. And crest is set to fifteen. I'm sorry. Crest is set to fifteen. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Holy shit. Just roll another D8 on top of what you already rolled, Genesis. And I'll add it to your initiative. There we go. Nice. 25. Still second, but firmly second now. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So... You all get outside of the door, and unfortunately, because of the nature of the wind slamming the door backwards, it is going to slam shut. It will require a whole ass action to open. Because, well, the wind, the suction. I don't know if any of y'all have ever been in a house, in a hurricane, or a tornado. It goes one of two uh, ways. My has a stable out climate. or in. So... The creature seems to release these static energies across itself that fully envelops this room, <laughs> and you feel the prickling against each of your skins as the creature rotates what you can only presume is its head. It's, it's not physical enough to warrant such a description, though, as it looks towards each of you and will unleash its lightning storm. I need each of you to give me a dexterity saving throw. That's a good. Thing I should forewarn you: if you fail by more than five, the DC is twenty. Um, it gets a lot worse for you. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my game advantage right away. I'm dead. Oh yeah, my father. Glenn is good. Cornwallis is good. Genesis is good. Monkey is good. I rolled a 16, so at least I'm not fucked fucked. You're not fucked fucked. That is going to be 27 points of lightning damage to each of you who failed, which was Bart. Uh, half as much to everybody who was successful. Bart, you are now stunned until the end of your next turn. As the lightning strikes and courses through you and just leaves you standing there paralyzed with the arcing energy going up and down your body. Didn't I fail oh, as well? Dear. Oh, you failed, yes. So you take the 27, but you're not stunned. 
I'm dead. Unconscious? Oh, you don't have absorb elements or anything. Yeah. All right, that's it. Let's go. Genesis. Okay, I'm trying to figure something out. Um. Okay, I guess I just want to move as close as I can and Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast, if you get too close, you'll be at disadvantage with Eldritch Blast. Okay, well, they're I'm not gonna, gonna get anywhere near close enough. They have 30 feet of movement. Yep. There's no way they're gonna get anywhere near so, melee range. Firstly, when you step into the first aura, you all can see the two auras, correct? Yes. Okay. As you step into the first aura around this creature, you notice your breathing becomes much more difficult, and even as you're exhaling, you, you have to control your breath very specifically to be able to inhale and exhale. And just as a forewarning to everybody, uh, each creature within this specific aura range is unable to do verbal components. Question. Does that Eldritch Blast require verbal components? It does. It does. Huh. And are you proficient in nature? Yes. Okay. You would know closer to the storm, the tempest itself, you would not be affected by that level of mutability of this creature. But there would be other risks and dangers involved as well. But I wouldn't be able to breathe, probably, if I got closer to it. No. Right now, you have to deliberately try to breathe specifically, but that's only because you're at a very specific window and range. If you get closer, that effect will go away, but you presume something else will happen. Anybody proficient yeah. in nature would know that. And yeah, so it's like you've got the hurricane and then you've got the eye of the storm around the monster. And I don't have enough movement to gamble and go to the eye of the storm. You, you you but, can, yeah, but that will be the only thing you do this turn. Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, or you yeah, could yeah. stop here, throw your Eldritch Blast from outside of it, and then continue moving. Next turn, you would probably be able to get within the eye of the hurricane. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. And Eldritch Blast is 120 feet, so it, yeah, you could always good. stay ranged if you wanted so, to. You don't have to close it. Okay. As you step within, <laughs> step forward five feet. You unleash your Eldritch Blasts. And you notice surrounding the creature on that other inner wall is a natural wind wall around them. Your projectiles deflect and go up towards the ceiling off of it. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is there like an extra action thingy that's not really an action? Like something like I want to. Okay, here's the dumb thing. I want to throw my toilet paper at it. But my goal. <laughs> is that I want to, like, hit it around the face. I want to throw my toilet paper <laughs> and... If you're aiming for it, then that's, what that's is like... happening is the projectiles hit the wall and just go shooting up towards the ceiling. So but it's toilet paper. Is a projectile. That's bolts, that's Eldritch Blast, that's uh, pretty much any spell that shoots, like, a beam or anything like that is a projectile. So okay. what you could do instead, instead of trying to aim and throw it, I would allow you to use your free action to toss it in the winds and let it just blow around chaotically. That's and what I want to do. I want to like think. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I just want to like flippantly chuck it in there and be like, "Hey, you missed the spot, you piece of shit!" And throw my toilet paper at it. All right, you or do have your remaining movement to move. Okay. You can move into the muting gale or... Okay, direct line. Let's go. Then That's 30. Uh, you used your action for Eldritch yep. Blast, so you have a bonus action. Bonus, so Eldritch Blast again or what? No, oh, I'm no. I'm just... If you have a bonus action, I don't believe you do. I don't think I do. No. Yep. Okay. You, you have Misty Step, but I don't think you want to use your last spell slot. And that's that. verbal yeah. component, isn't it? Oh, uh, Ooh, that's a good question. Actually, I don't even know. Most warlock and uh, bard spells. Are... Yeah, it's verbal. It's only verbal. 
Monkey. You saw the blasts. <laughs> this is a losing fight, and I'm going to run to the door, and I will use my action to open the door. Okay. And I yell, get out! Hold Let's it. escape. Yep, I'm going to oh, oh, use my action to uh, open it and hold it open for everyone else to run out, because there's no way with our health and what it's doing, there's no way. I'm right. on the ground. Bart. That's my turn. Cool. Oh yeah, you're stunned. Shit. Yep. Crest. Protocol. Healing yeah. protocol. Can't, can't, I can respond to it, right? Yeah, you're the one who has to give it its designation. It's asking okay. you. You have four words. Uh. Defensive or offensive? Those are the yeah, two commands yeah. you have. Activate defensive. Uh. Which which is the one? The shield, the, the temp protocol. Shield. Yeah, protocol. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody gains temporary hit points equal to their level. Do I gain? Temporary hit points do not break you out of unconsciousness. No, no, no. But do I one. gain it and keep it if I get? Oh yeah, it puts like a literal shield on you to protect you, or not a literal shield, like a magical shield. So my Fuck. my dead fucking corpse is um. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Yeah, just glowing slightly, just on the ground, family guy pose. Yep. <laughs> All right. Glenn, your go. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my action to cast Cure Wounds on Samdi. I say, not today, man. It's time to leave. And I'm going to yell out, everybody get out. I'm going for the kids. And I'm going to use my bonus action to step in the wind, and I'm going to try to head towards one of the doors. Okay. Uh, there's this door over here, there's this, these doors down here, and there's these doors up here. Those are the rooms you know they're in. Well, uh, sorry, can you, can you, uh, ping the first here? one out again? Okay. There's these ones. Uh-huh. <laughs> that one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that one. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Ah. Uh... Uh, okay, I got, I got 60. Okay, I'll, I'll take this uh, one at a time first. I'll first go, I'll go up to, that's 30 feet. Yep. Um, <coughs> and then, that's another 20. I mean, yeah. And so that's, how, what was that total? Uh, we can just draw a line. 60. Okay, yeah, so that's... I did step of the wind, so I have 100 feet of movement right now. Yep, so uh, that's 60 out of it. You get over to the door, it's locked. Do I... Oh, damn, I can't hear anything on the other side, can I? Uh, no, you can't hear anything outside of this chamber. Actually, where you're standing, you're within the deafening winds. Uh, it's an action to try to, like, unlock a door and stuff, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, is there, a whole, is there like, a people? Like, 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 like Nothing. People like if there was okay. an inch, this creature could get through it. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. I'm going to go for the other door next. Corn Let's interrupt. Yeah? Did, did you say you cast Cure Wounds on me? Yes. I did. So I'm sorry, I gotta roll. Yeah, it never <laughs> yeah. went into the thing, so it's like... Huh? Roll it, he might be good. <laughs> like, you claim to, but I don't see any proof. Ugh, five. Five. Like five a tap on the five snout. Five is up. <laughs> five, five means I am up. True, true. All right, Cornwallis. Um, I, well, I guess I'll step over onto the other side of the door. All right. And back into the hallway. Good, good. You move into the hallway. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not really going to do anything else, but stay out of everyone's way to see if everyone else is running or not. Can I make a recommendation of the dodge action? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll dodge. One of the action economies most people forget they have. Yeah. All right. Sam D. On the ground. I'm just going to, like, I, I look around. Like, like an actual like crocodile, all force. 
and I scamper away. All right, crawl into the room. Action. Uh, action. Probably crawl further away as a dash. Okay. My head cannon just had you action slam the door shut. Nope. <laughs> just... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just... like I'm like I'm crew. All right. That's the end of but your these turn. These are distractions. And Joey, Joey again, all the good rolls today, man. Apparently. Tell me about it, boy. Um, 120 feet. How far did you manage to crawl? Uh, not 55 feet, right? Uh, not unless I get. It. I say I crawled. Stand, stand up, hacker up. movement. Half my movement, and then if I dash, do I get 15 feet, or is it the 30 full 30? Feet? Okay, so I would have gotten 45, but at least I'm out of the, I'm out of the hallway. True, but. true. All right, guys, I need you all to give me dexterity saves. Same situation as before. Can I just choose to fail? I'm still. Stunned. I mean, you can. Oh, no, it was until the end of your next turn. You oh, had a yes, turn; it right. just ended. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cornwallis, yeah, yeah. advantage, keep in mind. Yeah. I, I cannot possibly I'm dead succeed again. This, so... Yeah. So it was 27 points? 27, yeah. yeah keep I'm in down. mind, temp HP equal to your level. I'm still down. Okay. For everybody else. Uh, Yeah, DC of 20. If you did not hit the 20 with the plus 5 from Bart, that's 27 hit points. If you didn't hit 15 with the plus 5 from Bart, uh, you're also stunned until the end of your next turn. Is anybody stunned other than Bart? I am stunned. <laughs> Samdi is also stunned. You hit 15, and, Glenn. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's... It's 15 without hmm. Bart. And you're yeah, stunned. but I'm not, I'm, not in, I'm not in Bart's order. I know, so you hit 15, which means you didn't fail by more than five, right? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, fail yeah, by four. five or more. Oh, five or more. Oh, yeah, never sorry, mind. I misspoke. Fuck. Ooh. It was, how much, 27? 27. And I do, I still I still have that from evasion, right? Even if I do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It is going to fly over to here as well seeing Glenn trying to do something. Genesis, you are now inside of its uh, deafening winds. You are no longer considered mute, but you are considered deaf. Okay, well, I am going to action dash and head back to the hallway. Okay. Uh, how close were you to the creature? Uh, 15 feet. That's within its strike range. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna pay for that toilet paper thing, huh? Or probably, or you. How far is she from me? Uh, thirty-five feet. <sighs> Joey, you rolling hot today, man? You are on a roll. <laughs> yeah. Turns out the talk about the TPK should have been wait should have waited until this fucking week. It's more the entire time you guys are in here. I would just like to add the piece of shit could be a term of endearment because brown is the color of earth and earth is lovely and everyone loves the earth because earth is the mother of all. You're speaking to a wind elemental. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> <We're> opposite. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Have you never seen Avatar? No. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Was that was that an uh, that was an attack roll, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Thirty-five only, feet. When an, okay. Runic shield. When another creature you see within sixty feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to force the attacker to reroll the d twenty. Use the new roll. Okay, so at least not a crit. Yeah. All right. Please. I'm not gonna say anything. I know. Twenty-one. Almost. It's fine. Not a crit. That's 21 good. hits you, Genesis. 
Yes. That'll be 23 thunder damage. Genesis, you are down. Yep. So, three out of six down. Soon to be at least four. Monkey, you see Glenn's entire body frozen in place from the arcing currents around him. Genesis just slammed by one of these creatures. Very long, almost wing-like wind aspects to itself. Bart lying unconscious, Samdi in the hallway, but also lying unconscious. What are you doing? Um, how big is the doorway? The door that I'm holding? How big is? How wide is it? Uh, we'll put it at like seven feet tall and like four and a half feet wide. Five feet okay. wide. I guess that's pretty normal. Yeah, like a big door, but not huge. Yeah. Not huge. Too big, too small if I were to get big. In the doorway, yes. Yeah. yeah. But you could squeeze right. through it. It's just... Through the doorway. Okay. So I'm going to be... I don't know how much I can do. I'm not a magic dude. Um, I will use my bonus action to... Uh, can't even run fast. I can't get you out. Um... And if I move from the door, the door will shut. So I will use my bonus action to, do, to become bigger, but I'm on the other... I'm not on the inside of the room. I'm on the outside of the room. Like that. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And I will... Actually, just use big monkey. Okay. Yeah, I just don't know where the door is. I will... And then I will... Right where you're um... standing. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Don't remove then... this monkey. Just bring up big Just move the other one up. Yeah. And then I will um, hold my action to give the help action if someone needs help coming through the door. Okay. I guess. Damn it. I wish I had real spells. Okay, and where's Big Monkey? There's Big Monkey. Bart, you're unconscious. Yes. Would you mind whisper rolling me your death saving throw? Keep in mind you do not have your aura currently. If you split it half and half, monkey, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There is there a death save button on this sheet? Yeah, there is. There is. I got it. Make sure it's whispered. Minus that five, it just statically has it. You don't have it right now. It's fine. Uh, please mark that down as whatever it is. Yeah. Crest will activate once again. Everybody, temporary hit points equal to your level. Remember, they do not stack. It just refreshes up to that number. Glenn, that's your turn. You're stunned, right? Yeah. All right. Cornwallis. Uh, all right. Time to blow what little I have left. Uh, I am going to burn my last non-first level spell and cast haste on myself. Okay. I am going to burn a bonus action and cast nature's veil on myself. Are those both leveled spells? But nature's veil is not a bonus. It's it's a class ability, not a spell. Okay. Okay. You said cast. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'll use Nature's Veil on myself. All right. All right. I I would just gone on the outside of the door, so I assume I'm five feet in out of the room sure so it's 40 feet to get to genesis yep. she's 35 or they're 35 feet from the door i'm going to use my haste action to pick up genesis and then i have a total of 70 feet of movement because of uh haste so then i but so i'm half am i still halved when i'm picking them up uh, Normally, because of your because of grapple, your but... carrying capacity, you are not. If you didn't okay. have the enlarged carry capacity right. thing that you have, you would be. And I will move. I won't. I don't have enough movement to get back to the door, but I do have enough movement to get there. 
You don't? So, What's your base movement? 35? 30, 35, but it cost me 40 to get in there, which means I only have 25 to get back. Well, I only have 30 to get back, and it cost me 40 to get, uh, to get there, so... Gotcha. They were 35 away from but me. You, you I'm five speed, feet short. Your movement, your movement speed doubles from, from pace. Right, so it gives me 70. And I, it took me 40 to get there. Action to cast the spell, hasted action to grab and scoop them up and move. Right. Yeah. And so it cost me 40 to get there, which means I was... And they were 35 away from the door, yeah. which means I need 35 to get back, and I only have 30. So I'm five feet short of the door. Okay. But can I... we, we are both invisible because I am oh. carrying Genesis and I am invisible until the start of my next turn. Yep. What were you saying, Monkey? Never mind, I can't see him. I was going to try to lean and use my held action to pull him through. But... Gotcha. Yeah, you can't see me, but you would have known seeing me before that I'm currently probably the healthiest person in the group. So if anyone can survive a round <laughs> outside yep. the door, <laughs> it's probably me. All righty. Some D. <laughs> Give me that death save. I know the drill. Uh, uh, wait. Your snake is assisting you. Snake. <laughs> snake, snake. That's what your snake oh, does snake. for you. It's nice. Yeah, I'm hungry. Hold on. Yeah, it says Queer Whisper, so I should be able to do this. Whisper. Oh, so close. Roll again, though. didn't give me the option to query whisper this time. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, please mark it down. <sighs> the I Tempest win. Fix that. It does not recharge. Instead, it's going to use two slam attacks on you, Glenn. You are stunned. Uh, end of next turn. Until the end of his next turn. Did you have a t turn of stunned yet? Yeah, I did. Okay, then you are not stunned. Good. That makes this a lot easier. Christ. 18. Christ. Uh, I would miss if I'm blade singing. I am blade singing, so. 30. Yeah, that hits. 23 thunder damage. <sighs> One second. <laughs> I got minus 14. Math. 14, 18, 19. Come on, man. I right. die for them. Okay. Genesis, you need to give me a constitution, or not a constitution, a death saving throw. I already changed you to DM only, so it won't go to okay. anybody but Joey. Thank so you. in the middle of your screen, underneath your hit points, there's a little button that says, or a little word that says death saves. Just click on that word that says death saves above all of your attacks so if you roll a 10 or higher that is a success don't say what you rolled if you roll a 9 or lower that is a failure if you roll a 20 specifically you jump up at one hit point and you get your whole turn if you roll a 1 that is two failures three successes you are stabilized three failures you are dead dead please mark it down appropriately so right above that button are three little boxes just click whichever one it is Right. Monkey. All right, I'm gonna um, yell again. Get out of there! Let's go. And I will hold my hand out. How far from the doorway is Genesis? Was it a five foot? I could probably reach five foot with my size. Well, they're over I'm here. Oh, no, she's, she's, and they're, they're invisible. And oh, they're right. further away. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. I forgot she was invisible. Uh, and they, for... they are invisible. Okay. So I will reach. I'm holding the door. I got my body against the door, and I've got my arm through the door. And again, I'm going to hold my action to use the help action if someone gets close enough that I that they need to be helped through the door. Okay. All right. Bart, please repeat your saving throw. Whisper. Absolutely. Uh, did the thing do the lightning damage to everyone again? No, it did not. It didn't recharge. Oh, 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 God, it did that twice in a row. You son of a... Well, the first time it wasn't recharged. It was already charged. Okay. Please mark okay. that down. This is... Uh... All right. 
temp HPs. Do 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 do. Glenn. I can't. I can't do this. I can't save the kids and watch my friends die in the process. So. Uh, let's see. Glenn, remember my one golden rule: when in doubt, fuck the kids. <laughs> uh, can I? Me. Am I able to go? I'm not sure this? how to take that. First statement. off, freezing. <laughs> Second off, fuck no. Um. <laughs> well, what do you do, Glenn? I just ignored save... that. I'm ignoring that. Um, what will you do, Glenn? Save the children or I... save the girl? Well, okay, hold on. From here, can I can I get through this creature? Like, is it? Uh, because you are a monk and you have this fancy ability called Step of the Wind. Right. Yes, you can get through okay. the creature. Okay, so I will step in the wind. Um, I'm definitely going to provoke an opportunity attack getting past him, so... Uh, on you. This creature prevents all wind-based abilities in a one-mile radius. <laughs> um, If it's outside. It's inside right now, so it's actually, like, nerfed. So I will give it its opportunity attack against me. Okay. Come on and slam. Oh my god, you got him. Runic shield. Runic shield. Roll again. Yep, roll again, please. Okay. Yo, he's rolling hot today, man. 23 yeah, 20... Thunder. I, you guys know I never roll like this. <laughs> you did get your temp hit points back, right? Yes, right before this? I did, okay. I did, I did. Uh, that will bring me to 23. Okay, so I still have movement. Uh, I, ha I don't have my bonus action anymore. Um... I will use my action because I don't know how bad Bard is doing. Uh, this is my last spell slot, so I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the cure wounds on Bard and bring him back up. Nice, nice. Whew. Okay. Uh, that's eight, and then I still have I still have um, about sixty feet of movement. Plus your temp HP, Bard. Yeah, uh, I brought that. Okay. Can I can I sacrifice movement to to like? Roll Bart. Uh, you can sacrifice half of your base movement to pick him up to get him standing. But if you're trying to carry a creature, it takes an action to grapple them and drag them into a location where you're okay. moving at half movement to do anyways. Okay, so I would use I would have to use half my movement to get him. To half stand of up. your base movement. Uh, your base I'm... movement is like forty, right? Forty-five. It's 50 right now. It's well, 50, 60, so... 60. 60, 60 your sorry. base movement is 60. You'd have to spend 30 feet to pick him up from being prone. Okay, so I would do that, and I would still have 30 feet left. Um, and he's Monkey, would you like to use your held action to grab him and throw him down the hallway? Absolutely. I'm just going to chuck right. Bart, are you willing or unwilling? So willing. Okay. Yes. Monkey grabs you and uh, tosses you down the hallway. Just... I invented bowling just now. All nice. right. <laughs> it's a bowling Bart. So. Okay. So from what I can see, everybody is through because I can't see Cornwallis or Genesis. I believe so. Oh. You can, throw me. can you do more like curling? I don't like to bounce. <laughs> Pull out a broom and like. <laughs> yeah, just squeegee it down. That is correct. You don't see Cornwallis or Genesis. You see Somdi bleeding out down the hallway. Monkey just standing in the doorway. Make performing CPR on him. <laughs> Snake is just like a balloon. <laughs> okay, I, think, I think those kids are a lost cause. Dang it. I will use my last 30 feet of movement to exit. Okay. Damn it. Cornwallis? Um, I will reappear. I will carry Genesis. I will use one of my actions to pull Monkey in behind us because we're the last two that are outside. Yep. Uh, and then I will use my hasted action to cast Cure Wounds on Genesis. All right. So roll the heal. Four. I don't know. I'll ignore the four part. They are not my favorite foe right now. <laughs> Genesis, you gain seven hit points on top of your temporary hit points that you still have. Um, and you are no longer rolling death saves. You are conscious. Now, last person 
Who needs to roll a death save? Som D. Remember advantage. Okay. You are stable for the time being. Does anybody else have any form of healing to bring Somdi up? He's the last one unconscious. I will bring him up as soon as I have another another turn. Well I then, have, I still have another first level spell slot. Slamming the door shut behind all of you, you feel the tumultuous slamming of gales and winds and waves of this creature pummeling against your door over and over and over. However. It does not seem to be getting very much progress in destroying the door and getting out of the way. Each of you come back from consciousness. Most of you incredibly worse for wear as you are beginning to catch your breaths. And this is where we're going to take our break, everybody. We are back. Zombie, you get seven hit points.
believe that's the right volume. If anybody's watching right now and I sound a little off, actually, that's a little high. Okay, there we go. We're back. Where last we left off, you all had fled back into the corridor you were in, running away and fleeing from this a strange elemental, listening to it slam against your doors over and over and over. For any of you who this is your character's first authentic near-death experience, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. I don't know about first, but first in a very long time. We'll count that. Oh, I got no. eaten two hours ago. Yeah, but that wasn't but that like wasn't that wasn't close to being dead for you. <laughs> I mean, I was below half health. Yeah, but that's not close for you, <laughs> isn't it? No. I live my. How I many polymorphs did you have? Be... <laughs> no, no. I live my entire life being nearly untouched. Like, okay. how many combats have I not taken damage in? True, true. All right. I'm still going to constitute you in this as well. Uh, Genesis, you can toggle okay. off the uh, GM role. Same to you, Bart, and anybody else who was unconscious uh, dying. I got it, Genesis. Eighteen. Okay. Genesis, you rolled a 16 total. Samdi is an 18, then Bart, you have developed a bit of a flaw. You are now afraid of thunderstorms and weather similar to like whatever that thing was. Hurricanes, tsunamis, you know, those shits. Ah, so I've developed common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Something most adventurers authentically lack. But anyways, point. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Please add that to your uh, your flaws. So, after it slams on your door a few more times, you can still feel the pressure of it, and you hear it kind of swirl away. And then you all hear crest. Primary door bleep breached. Would you like an update? No, don't. Oh, no, don't update me. Very well. Are we? Oh. Should, I mean, should we all? Should we all head back to the to the command center then? See if we can. Yeah, we, we should go back to the command center and rest there. Um, Joey, is the was the head office along the way? Like, is, is the Tempest in, in in the area where I would need to go through to get to the head office? To... Oh, that's where all of the students and everything were. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably go back to Bart's closet and rest. Cress, <clears throat> uh, would we would we be in the vicinity of of, of uh, the cleanse if you were to activate it? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, then let's head, let's head back. So, you all begin heading back until you make it back over to the original room that you all were supposed to meet in, the faculty lounge mm -hmm. that they had over there. I know that's the safe spot. So once we get inside, then I would say, all right, Crest, with a heavy sigh, activate, activate the cleanse. Cleansing facility, all open or compromised rooms will be cleansed in 10. And you guys hear it echoing in the hallway. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five. 
Do we do we do I have to activate anything to close our doors or is our door No, safe? it's it's closed, it's sealed. Yeah. You just Glenn just it, sits down defeated. It stops at five, and then you hear Cleansing protocol overruled. Uh wait, what about Reese? We'll say that you got him and brought him with you. Yeah. Okay. No, we just know. Left. <laughs> Someone did, not you. But... Okay. What? Uh, press <laughs> reason for override. Who who did it? Headmaster command. You alive? What else? <clears throat> where where was this activation? Location of activation. Headmaster's primary quarters, compromised room. All right. Well, maybe maybe the students got somewhere safe and will do the code, or there's someone else in here. After all, someone was cleaning off those paintings. Let's rest, and then we can remove that uh, whirlwind on our own. Try to see if there's any one left. So, right. yeah. you guys sit down and begin taking your long rest, your short rest as of now. Well, we can do like a long rest within a short amount of time. If you uh, you're an elf? <laughs> you're an elf now? Nice. Good job. <laughs> yeah, short rest. So, as you guys are sitting down, beginning to rest, you hear... A strange noise happened through the entire school. Boom, boom, boom. Hello. I presume this is Glenn. What was his name? Monkey and Samdi Bartikov. The rest of you who are inside of this wing. Who's speaking? <laughs> oh, I think you know. I was curious to find out why it... Well, the Tempest stopped slamming upon my door for a brief moment. I must thank you. If it wasn't momentarily distracted, I don't think I would have been capable of overthrowing it. Well, easily at least. Why have you come this far? I don't think we've ever properly spoken about your desires and wants. No, every time I've heard you voice, I asked to see you in face and you would decline. Of course. I'm not a fool. I wouldn't dare go up against seven individuals. Well, at the same time, of course. I'll just make this easy, easy for everybody here. I just, I know who I am. How, what happened? I want to know what happened to the academy. What, what went down? How did I die? Why am I like this? You say you know who you are. Then who are you? A, a venture, Glenn, Glenn Strider. <laughs> so you don't know anything yet. Good. For me, at least. So why don't you tell me what you know, man, buddy? I believe I asked you a question first. And one does not simply reveal their hands so easily when they're being treated with such, um, let's call it hostility. Well, pardon that action. I think it's, uh, it's kind of warranted with, uh, things that you've been kind of leading us down and sending at us with the, the apes and... I don't know what exactly you did to Eleanor, but uh, something strange going on there, too. Eleanor. Oh, I haven't heard that name in ages. <laughs> Curious. Are you the reason why it stopped responding to me? You overruled my protocol. Seems like she didn't want 
to be where they were in the predicament that they were. So we helped her out a little bit. It was perfectly fine in the state it was in before your influences. In fact, it was better off protecting that wing altogether. Well, how about if... this? I'll treat you like the children you are. And we play question answer. I ask the question, you answer it, then you may ask me a question, and I will answer it. All right. So, why are you so persistently going to each of the wings of the academy and seeking deeper knowledge at them. Well, this academy is related to the books, the Echoes of the Shattered Veil, vale, and I know this is etched down somewhere in my past. My past is somewhere etched in this these books, so I'm trying to piece it all together to find out what's what's going on to learn what happened to me so I can move forward with my life. That is why I've been persistently chasing these, the Academy. Interesting. And these, and these are my buddies that are helping me out. Now you may pose a question to me. All right. How did I die? No, actually, <laughs> no, no. Why am I like this? And like I point to my like my dead self. Some experiments that take place are much more easy to perform. For a mage such as myself, bringing somebody back from the brink of death is nearly impossible. Bringing back a unwanting soul proved to be unfortunate. In your instance, it left you hollow and apparently seeking knowledge of what you do not have the capacity to wield. It was unforeseen that during the time of, well, my performing of the spells, there will be such a strong surgence of magic of divine origins, but alas, that does sometimes happen. Miscalculations are inevitable, especially when you are unaware of certain delinquencies happening elsewhere in the world. Apparently a powerful entity was being fought against and had to be quelled and destroyed. As such, the energies that flood in turned you into more than what I was hoping to make you into. You weren't supposed to have a consciousness. You're not supposed to have any connection to what you once were. You were supposed to just be one of the wielders of that blade that you currently have. And use it for me. Your turn, then. <laughs> what reason do I have, given the <clears throat> inconvenience you all have perpetually given to me, to not rid you of your titles in this wing and go through the purging protocol yet again? I'm not mistaken. You did just say we helped. We helped give you uh, the momentary time you need to uh, get rid of that tempest thingy that was banging at the door. It wasn't I that released them from their captivity. Look over at Genesis. <laughs> right. 
Right. Well, I guess it, you know we still we still fixed the, the mistake. Well, I guess we kind of fixed the mistake that was corrected. You you took care of the rest. We were going to finish it off, but you know you did step in there. But so you do not have a definitive answer for me. None of you. Uh, Santi pipes up. Well, if you're anything like whatever you would call Eleanor before we changed them, you're kind of an experimenter, right? There's no response. But you can come to whatever conclusion you would like. God damn it. Let me think of I gotta have something. Well, if Glenn was just supposed to be your uh I wouldn't say something as grand as bodyguard, but Sword wielding undead mook. Isn't this kind of a good opportunity to study him since this is a unexpected outcome? Roll me persuasion. Hey. Oh, thank you so much, Santi. <clears throat> I got the hint. Be a charisma cast. <laughs> Come on, there's only three of you in the party. One of you has to have an idea. <laughs> why me? This is why I don't do it. I never roll well. Holy shit, I stole all of the luck this session. Yeah, no, fuck you. Uh... I can untab those successes. I'm gonna need in a second. Do you do you have a sorcery point? Oh yeah, I do have that ability. A uh, versatility. Um, you're just forced to take the new roll. Magic guidance. That's the one. The thing. Out of character, can I offer something? You can. Sure. Okay, so this is like his playground sort of thing, right? Maybe he could use this as not a social experiment. That's not the word I'm looking for. But to see how we interact with his place and like, yes, an experiment to see how far we get in his space, in his area, and how we interact with his stuff. I don't know That's... how to word that right, though. It's in the same ballpark of what I think I was trying to get across. Sorry, I'm re I'm sorry no, no, I'm repeating no, what you're saying. And the benefit of you doing this in character, if you were to do it, would be you would be assisting him so he would have advantage on his role. Okay, I don't know how to say it in character. Uh, how um, you just said it, more or less. Okay. Um... So yeah, so Somdi, you're you're saying to do this like a like a, a a study to see how we can all get through this this space and to see how Glenn Glenn works as he is. Hmm. Not how he was supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> is that it, or did I do that? No, yes, no, you yes, did, you, you did. did good. You, you did the good. Yes. Um, I'm you sorry. Did. No, you're good. You did it. Double checking on this. It says ability check. Does that fall under the preview of skill checks? Skill checks are ability checks, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, Okay. then <clears throat> if I got 10 things to Genesis, I can re-roll and have to choose the new one. Mm -hmm. Lower that sorcery point down by one. Boop. Thank you. 
20. Nice. Significantly 30. better. Let's go. So. Every fucking time. For a point of clarity, I was not asking for a suggestion. I was asking if you knew why. Alas, it is now your turn to ask a question. He seems... Sam, do you know the sounds of a manipulative, <coughs> curious That's person? That. He now seems happy to be engaging in this conversation. Just quickly popping into the brain of Bart. And I'll, and I'll say he's, he's being a proverbial cat with a mouse. Mm. I he's do that, get the sense of a predator. Yeah, he's that type of person. And I'll like I think I'll leave Glenn's mind out of this conversation, just to be sure. Okay. But I'll I'll generally like state that mentally to everyone. Again, besides Glenn, sorry. No, that's fair. Uh, and for continuing on, I would ask. How? How did I die? I would like for you to confirm that you really want that answered. Yeah, that's, that was. This has been my whole journey with these books, just figuring out my past, and this this is an important part of my past. Presumably, you're speaking of whom you once were, not who you currently are. Very well. You died making a very grand mistake. You sought to assist a group of naive and immature children in achieving something that was far beyond their grasps to allow them to explore not just the universe, but into the beyond as well. In you doing so, you were hunted down and you succeeded in your goal, but look at what happened because of you. And each of those students, all of these wings, only about 20, 25,000 lives ruined. Most of which dead and gone. Those are the lucky ones, of course. But there are others that you've already encountered. Tormented, tortured. Their existence changing with the whims and wiles of magics from a group of naive individuals who just didn't know any better. You were the catalyst. You were the one who had access to the higher status of magic than the rest of them. You had access to controls over crest. So ultimately... I would gauge at least a sizable portion of this is your fault. I need you to give me a charisma save, Glenn. Six. Mm. 
you all see Glenn enters back into that incapacitated state he was in in that previous room. Flashes and images of memory start flooding into your mind of you working with each of those students, you helping them very closely, you yourself being considered a student here and helping them grow as they achieve these goals and watching it all crumble away. You saw the splitting of the academy being coursed through with an arcane magic that superseded all protections that were here, just cutting and severing and sending them asunder to various different locations. You saw the burning of individuals as the wing you were in collapses down into a very sandy drift, leaving very little else alive and well. Ah. It would appear that hmm, I did leave you susceptible to mental manipulations of certain varieties. Good. I was curious if I had to be extra concerned about you. Now that I know your weakness and flaw, it is much easier to deal with. I suppose now it is my turn to ask a question, but I believe your companion is not going to be easy to answer very much. Are any of you willing to continue this little game? Somebody will step forward. <laughs> Say, sure. Very well. My question. Knowing what you know about him, knowing the devastation that he has caused, the strife of the individuals that were once here, the naivety, or perhaps even the malice, I am unaware of what their mental facilities were during their actions, do you plan on keeping him? Or may I have him back? I'm just going to look at the uh, going comatose Glen. You probably picked the worst person to ask that question. Well... I doubt they'd let you have him back. That's all I can say. Okay. Your question. And I'm going to like... <laughs> Quickly, um, mind conference with everyone, like, okay, suggestions real quick, because uh, I'm honestly just trying to get a read on him, and I can't really do that. Can I do, <clears throat> in, I know it'd be difficult, can I do an insight check on the voice speaking to us, I guess, because we're not seeing anything, so it'll just be... Anything what are you trying to pick up on? If you target a specific nuance, you won't have disadvantage, but you have to target something specific. Like maybe tenor of the voice or something? Like if he sounds like he's sick or something? Are you thinking that? No, I'm thinking more on... How manipulative it sounds? Yeah, oh, exactly. yeah, that would be smarter. Like how, tru like how truthful, how manipulative... So you want to detect if they've been lying at all about any of this. Right. Especially when he's speaking of Glenn. All right. For that one, I am going to say disadvantage because a liar's yeah. tells are like 90% their face. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm fine with that. All right. Okay. Um, actually, it'll be a normal roll because I have advantage on 
insight, so I'm on my roll. Okay. Do do do. Come on. Nineteen. Nineteen. I think I have a question. If nobody else does. You cannot sense a truthfulness or a clear line of lying from the individual. They seem to be choosing their words specifically, and obviously they're having some effect on Glenn, or Venture, depending how you're referring to him right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can't discern in one way or the other. If they are lying, know. if they are lying to you, they're pretty good at it. And somebody, are you having that conference call? Am I included in that conference call? Because typically I'm not, so I'm just checking. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime. I imagine this time it's just like the uh, the western whistle and wind just <laughs> cutting through. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of like the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yes, is he? Uh, Yeah, probably. As I'll pop in his... Pop in his mind and say, all right, anything you want to ask this guy? Um, Genesis, you had something? Yeah. Well, I, uh, oh, oh, sorry. I just want to, this voice that's speaking to us, it's, uh, I don't trust it, but it's not necessarily lying with the words that we're hearing, but I don't trust it. Not trusted either. Okay, so, now yeah. you can go. I just wanted to give you guys a little Okay, so I have a question if nobody else does. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Or you can, like, ask, since you're communicating it to me, and I ask for you if that's pedantic, what is one of No, I can, I can ask. Um, okay. Do you have, for the students who passed away because of Glenn's actions... Do you have any kind of emotional attachment to them in regards to pride or like pride for those students or hope for their future? Is there emotion attached to that? Do you have animosity? Well, I guess that's a whole separate question. So you, you can only ask this. one question. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, that's why I'm just gonna stick with this. Do you have do you have an emotional attachment to the students? who passed away because of Glenn's actions. I do, yes. No. And, oh, sorry. My turn. To what end are you willing to defend him. Despite the actions that he still considers his own. Uh, us as a group or me personally? As a group. As a group, okay. His life and my life are intertwined. And I know he would do whatever he could to defend me, and I will do what I can to defend him. I don't know the version of Glenn that did this thing. The version of Glenn that I do know, I would gladly fight to save. Yeah, I'll have to go with Cornwallis on that. That's pretty well put. What people do in their past is one thing, but people can change, and people can be redeemed. So. And the others? Uh, Santi will kind of just stand there for a second. But I'm staring daggers right at Santi. 
think I have to. Okay, twist my ankle. It's my ankle. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Not my ankle. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> twist my arm, why don't you? Uh, like I said, they won't give him up, and I'm kind of stuck with him. They looked at. Well, they don't look, but you can feel that they're waiting for your reply, Bartikov. Christian. Sorry, I was peeing. My bad. It's just not on the bookshelf, Bart. So they just pose to what end are you going to be willing to protect Glenn, knowing what you guys all now know about him? I don't think I'm one to be casting too many judgments on people for the things they've done in their past. Even more so when he can't even remember them fully. I judge Glenn based on what he's done whilst he's been with us. He's been nothing but a stalwart companion and quite possibly the best of us. For mm. whilst and Genesis notwithstanding, I don't know you do that well yet. Glenn is one of one of the few people I would protect with my life. I suppose now it is your tire turn to ask a question. Me ask a question. Or anybody really. I mean he's just he's playing this game out of a manipulative curiosity. I have more if nobody else has any. Oh, shoot. Go for it. Okay. Um, do you believe that Glenn should be punished for what he's done? Oh, absolutely. I mean, no matter what you all believe, based off of his previous actions, his true colors shine true when he was attempting to break into that room. He ran over there, but the moment... He ran into a hiccup. He chose to save his life over anybody else's. He chose to sacrifice students to save himself. That shows that he has lowered himself even beyond what he was previously. Previously, he was naive and stupid and self-centered. Now, selfish and without a sense of duty. Uh, I actually think you're wrong there. I think he made his choice recently to save his friends so that we could all come back and try to save his students. So his duty has shifted and was altered to a different course of action, when it is the responsibility originally of every single Glenn, Glenn Strider and Glenn, Glenn Ripper included, to safeguard the students over anything else. That was just my impression. Of course, he's got free will, so I don't know really what's in his mind. Of course. Glenn, are you going to wake up and you snap out of your visions and state that you were in? Much better. Go on. Well, wanted to see more. <laughs> I asked my question. It's, it's, it's our turn again? Yes. Um. And as a point of clarity, you heard everything everybody was saying, just kind of like an echo, but you mm -hmm. processed it. Okay. Okay. I'll go on. Yeah, go ahead. We've already established that Glenn has once given his life for his duty. Does not duty and death end? My research on you has determined that you once belonged to a very royal paladin order. Protectors of their kingdom. Well, at least... 
the rich ones that were in charge. Accurate. Your duty would not have been over, even in death, if you had an alternative route. Which, I believe, based off of your magical influences, you did have one other excess. So, considering one's duty does not expire even after sullying their soul, I do not believe death should be a limiter to it. Again, I was trying to bring you back without consciousness of whom you once were, so that you could pursue your duty without all of these troubling thoughts and aches and heartbreak. But alas, you developed them. A colossal failure on my part. I do apologize. In my experience, I found a blind following of duty as dogma leads only to corruption. It is only once the human side is applied to one's duty that one gets to see how it can truly be applied with morality. And yes, I've twisted the morality of my duties and my own morality in the pursuit of them. But Glenn is his own man. He's free to pursue his own choices to the extent of his duty that he sees fit. And with a lack of memory about those duties, a lack of memory of why he's carrying them out, or even that they existed in the first place until we discovered more information about this place. This, no, this institution was lost a long time ago, in my opinion. I would, I would certainly think no less of Glenn for walking away now. Of course, it's easier to walk away rather than dealing and confronting with the fact that 20 students are dead because of your action. And that's recent. That is fresh. They had to die, unfortunate as it is. The Wind Nothing Elemental matters. broke in. I did what I could to protect them. As is my duty. Now, looks like you failed too. I admit my failures. I embrace them. I don't hide from them. So, are we done playing this game? Oh. Not yet. Then Do that you... was my last question. Alright. Do you... Do you have the... Do you, do you have the final copy of Echoes of the Shattered Veil? Vale? I just need to collect my finish my book collection. <laughs> <sighs> A true fan through and through. No. The final book in the series. is the conclusion of this story. It cannot be written, for it is not done yet. I still need to achieve my goals. Once I inevitably achieve them, this lost academy will be brought back to its predominance. And those that made my people suffer 
will be extinct. Now, my final question for you, Glenn. So you only have one more to ask me after this. Would you like to remain as you are now? Or would you prefer for all of this pain, torment, torture, the need and thirst for knowledge, the hunting of what you are by a religious order to be removed and no longer have to care, but just serve and do greater things than you could possibly achieve independently? Will I be will I be on will I be helping in restoring the academy? Of course. That is my goal. And that, that sounds like what what I would want to happen too. I mean if I was cause the downfall of it. I mean I don't want to, to remove these these memories, though, I want, I want them all. I want to know everything, everything that I did, and how I can, and then but, and learning from that and moving on from that. There's no debate. The options are those two. Stay as you are now. Continue to get in my way. And be plagued by everything. Or finally get to rest. There will be no more caring for you. I'll remove that. And you'll know right now that you are making our academy the grand spectacle it once was and finally right the wrongs and evils that you and those students committed. Can I, can I incite this? You can try. I'm going to use my game advantage. Who was ready for a round of guilt tripping? 19. Yeah. You come to the same realization that Monkey did. You can't there's a part of you that wants to believe what he's saying. And there's an equal part of you that doesn't. And those two conflicting sides are muddling your ability to peer through all of this. There are two wolves inside of you. Both of yours are very hungry and very stupid. He walk away and end <laughs> Glenn's end Glenn's quest. Or does Glenn give up his free will and become a servant of the academy? The thing is, is like out of character, like if if it writes the wrongs of, of what Glenn has done, he's going he, he would do this. And that is what he is claiming will happen. Yeah. And that's exactly what this guy's claiming. But like he as a player, I don't wrongs. I don't want to get rid of Glenn, you know, but, but this is what Venture. I think you saw <clears throat> Again, as a as a player, I think this would like 
this would be a fitting thing for Glenn. I also don't want to lose Glenn. I think he's a very fun character to have in the party. Great character. Bart would struggle to understand why. He would accept it. He probably wouldn't be happy about it. It would take him a little while to forgive Glenn, but there'd be nothing left of Glenn to forgive. <laughs> Venture. You saw that uh, book that I was reading. The big, thick one. With all the bad things in my past. And I like to think that I've changed. Now, you do have free will, but I just want to give you my two bits. I did a lot of bad things, and I'm trying to make up for that. I do. I mean, look I at, do. I, 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 look, I look at you, to you for guidance now, Monkey, because you, you can relate in this situation. If someone offered you offered you a chance to write everything, to correct all those sins that you've made, and all you had to do was get back in that that gem. But then would I make more sins because I'd be back to that person? Here's what I want to ask. I want to point out to you, though. Look at all the amazing things you've done since. You've helped so many people be beyond the academy. You've saved cities and people and fed the poor and the hungry. Now, we don't know what will happen. Yeah, you'll forget and you'll go back. But it can't really change the past. But what you can do is change the future. I'm with Monkey on this. You can't... If a man is disemboweled, he can spend all the time he wants trying to push his guts back in, but... They're out. And they're staying out. Now you can give up everything you know about yourself to hold, try and hold the hold fuck the metaphor you can give up everything you know about your yourself right now to try and atone for the things that you did in a life you don't even remember but those things have already happened and from what I've seen of you so far in the time we've been traveling together you are a force of good in this world and this academy is a cesspit of strange, fucked up things. It's crumbling and rotting away. I don't think I've heard anything good that came out of this academy, but I've seen so much good from you that it gives me a little bit of hope that there's still some time for me to make some good of myself. Because if someone as fucked as you can have a positive influence in the world, then shit, maybe I can make a difference too. Atone for your sins by what you do in the future, not by giving up any chance of having one. Well said, Brother Bart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the rest of my party. I'm going to look at the necklace, the amulet of my Shamblegeist egg inside of it. And I'll respond back. Yeah, these guys have these these guys have a good point. I got people counting on me, and I can count on these people. Maybe I maybe I won't be able to help restore the academy in your way, but I'll do it my own way then. Most unfortunate. I suppose now, your final question. We get a heal? It hasn't been an hour yet. <laughs> I'm just putting that as a suggestion. <laughs> I mean, we, we do know where his last location was, but, um, God, I, had, I had so many. <sighs> it 
is oh my gosh okay which one do i want to know more okay i don't know if you have an answer to this one joey but why is there a laughter in my head i was gonna ask the same thing earlier. why won't the voices stop why <laughs> is there laughter in your head oh geez yes well Good to know that that influence is what plagues you more than any else. <laughs> that laughter, as you refer to it, that is more than likely the aspect of what you most miss from many of the students that you once held dear. The camaraderie, the laughter, the partying. You were a vexing student, to say the least, an individual who, on many joyous occasions, would be the bell of the ball, doing daring acrobatic stunts with many of the fellow students. Even on numerous occasions, using the knock spell to unlock a professor's belt to uh, have them moon the class during a lecture very upsetting and i suppose that laughter is the voices that you miss the aspects of the students that you took away none of them are laughing anymore though that is just in your mind hmm. goodbye that's glenn. deep that's deep oh my gosh that's good goodbye glenn and if our paths do happen to cross again at any of these academies that you are pursuing, I will have to treat you all as my enemies for getting in my way. I hope you understand. That's the beauty of freedom of choice. You have yours. <laughs> my choice was made for me a long time ago. Then you hear the boop, boop, boop. The yellow zone is for part unloading. <laughs> thanks, thanks for uh, backing me up there, guys. Absolutely, and I, I met every word. Anytime, Glenn. Same here. Before we leave, I have an important question for you, though. Do we... How would you feel about me potentially putting the brakes on this place's advancement? Scorched earth as we leave. Or do you just want to leave it to its own devices? I don't know. What, I mean... How? I'm assuming that guy is is Elgin. He wouldn't say, but I'm assuming that guy is Elgin. And I don't know what his intentions are with this academy and bringing it back. Um, can you guys? Did you guys like get any like kind of like sinister reads off the guy? Do we? Uh, I couldn't. I, I tried to look at him. Uh, I can't say I trust him. But his words... I've been getting sinister reads from this whole place. The, the place, that's a different book. Uh, him when he's talking. Yeah. Uh, Soundy will waddle his way over to Glenn. Um, sorry, Monkey was literally in the middle of speaking. Oh, sorry, I thought he was... No, he was interrupted by Bart. And... No, back to Monkey. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't quite get a read on him. He wasn't... I don't trust him. Uh, yeah. The words he used would probably be more accurate. It, you know, it's very similar to uh, kind of racist speak a little bit, how he watches his words and he's kind of good with them. But, uh, now, the place here, I see that as sinister, but I, probably a good liar, though, based on what his your conversation was with him at the end. The end, I'm done. Now go ahead, Sandy. Sandy will just kind of waddle his way over to Glenn, place a hand on his shoulder. 
you know, from one vindictive asshole to a, to another. He was a vindictive asshole. He was trying to mess with you the moment he laid eyes on you. I highly doubt he meant anything nice to, uh, meant to do anything nice to you once you were a lifeless puppet. I don't know about Scorching, Scorching Academy yet, Bart. Maybe we, we hope put a break on that. I think there's still, there still could be great discoveries to be made of what's left of Blatera. Fine. I won't throw up vials of ooze as we leave then. But that being said, because I don't know what what Glenn Strider wants to do with this place, and if he is true to at least restoring the academy, I'd say I'd, I'd, I'd leave that be. I don't want to get in the way of that. Fine. Let's bounce then. I could do with a warm bed and the lack of gigantic elementals trying to eat me. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh... I think I could get out of this place. Out of character, I want to see the aberrations. <laughs> In character, Sandy probably wants to leave. Yeah, we can come back. Can we? Can we? You're going to walk back in here, the automatic turds are going to pop out of the flower pots. I mean, you guys know where it is, it just matters if that changes or not. Yeah, exactly. We don't know if the Academy's going to be moving by the time <laughs> at least the central places anybody here uh, proficient in arcana yep we have someone i think genesis is if i remember right it was reese reese is an expert god damn it uh, reese oh. who's mm -hmm. reese's buddy roll for him that's actually me <laughs> come on glenn give me a second, give me a second. <laughs> we can find it even right. if it's a couple of yes but, and but, genesis yeah. if you're proficient in arcana you can roll as well you're not Genesis has nature and religion, I believe. Oh, uh, Nate, yeah. The two that nobody else in the party has. I have nature. Really? That's 24. Yeah. Damn, you I rolled better religion. than he usually does. Uh, 24. So, for something of this magnitude and magical facility to move, it would need a designated broomstone to achieve that which is a very powerful rune or relic uh, that is capable of performing incredible feats of magic, such as levitation, movements, teleportations, things like that. Okay. Yeah. And for clarity's sake for everybody, it is broomstone. Literally broom is the word. Yes, I know it sounds silly. You know how many attempts it took Argon to finally realize how that word was spelled and whether it was broom or brune or... <laughs> there was a period in that campaign where Argon was very focused on brunestone. <laughs> I, re I retyped it in my notes many, many times. There it is. It's broom. Stone. <laughs> spelled how you would least expect it, but common sense tells you it probably is. Well, I guess we could grab a thing from this place just in case. I don't know how how your teleportation stuff works, but never know. I got something. And I'm going to... So we're in that faculty place. It is Was the broom closet near the faculty place? Or was it in the same actually? hallway. It's at like the it end, the uh, around a few corners, okay. but like probably within I'm a couple of hundred out. feet. I'll go out. I'll go in. 
I'm going to grab the picture of Gwen, and I'm going to come back and bring it down. You will need somebody else to be with you because of the doors and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... I, oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get us. There you yeah, go. Cornwallis I'll... is the fastest out of all of you. Also, I remember we can bring the... What's it called? That brooms, the, the key. The wand. Key? Yeah. Ooh, you're keeping the, the key? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Make sure you add that to your inventory, whoever has yeah. that. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be important. So you bring... Yeah. Uh, you bring the Venture... The portrait, yeah. the large one? Okay. Yep. Eventually, it, it, It'll look great next to our other friend. I just forgot her name right now, but that living portrait that we have in my temple. Monique or something like that, I forget. Yeah, I'll, I'll look for yeah. her name. Broomhilda. Broomhilda, thank you. <laughs> Beatrice, lady in the painting. Yeah. Close. Broomhilda is the next best name to Beatrix. Yep. And she is li- she's hanging in the temple, and our temple is falling. She's judging everybody yep alrighty y'all so you're plane shifting the fuck out of here yeah yeah that would that would be the I think that's Samdi think where too uh you have options now that's why I'm asking hmm Hey, I'm in a plane of fire shipping that. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we do gotta make fart. it up. We do gotta make it up to Tawahaj. <laughs> we could also just have a restful night in like. You could go to just that place that you don't know where it is. Mm. That you got we from the go Goblin. We could go on a hunting expedition in the abyss. <laughs> I, I'm thinking more like. <laughs> Stalling casino like a like <laughs> normal, <laughs> and then we can go somewhere. How would you like to peel this onion? Um. Yeah, I'm going to take out my magic dice set. Dice. Oh, we also have Reese's daughter to check on. Uh, 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 later. <laughs> I take out my magic dice and I say, all right, everyone. Circle, come on. Oh, we're we playing craps again? Woo. Yeah, come on, come on, circle, everyone. Circle, yep. grab hands, walk in, walk back out, holding hands. Yeah. You fish. You put your left foot right there. No. No. And as everyone's like, okay, hold hands, and I throw the dice and cast the dimension door. Not dimension door, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> deuces. And... <laughs> Two people disappear somewhere. <laughs> Me and Bart leave. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Just... Well, that's hilarious. Sorry, okay. I meant to say plane shift, and we'll plane shift into casino. This is an awkward pause. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm replying to one of you in the DMs. Yeah. <laughs> no, Give me no, a I second. Just, <laughs> I just like it. Like the Kleist back on the ground is like, huh. You guys can hear me typing, on. right? Like, <laughs> no? no. No, you can't. I just, I just see you no. staring at the screen. Oh, blankly. dude. If any of y'all have Steel Series gear, they have this new Clearcast AI fucking turn that shit on because you used to be able to hear me typing and apparently you can't yeah, hear I used me to. at all I, yeah I used to and it's to this is to. literally above my keyboard like aim down at my keyboard it's Ooh. really good i just thought but i was it. also yeah i was also wondering if you were looking at it okay what's gonna happen when they land oh there's been a big explosion some meteors oh come on am i that much of a dick no the entire city is gone you're in a different timeline now <laughs> uh but no uh you teleport away Grabbing with you your friends, allies, meat shields, however you determine them, Samdi. Uh, and you are channeling what magic item? Uh, my Dice of the Deceiver. You got those yeah, from Mama Vusi. Yeah. Okay. You all appear in Mama Vusi's shop. Uh, just going to oh. gingerly get off the the coffee table mama and i'll dip my hat 
put down 300 gold on the counter. There's a box in the front area for you. Take it with you before you leave. Is she referring to me, monkey, or...? All. Oh, Collectively. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll hold up my bag of holding, which, if I remember correctly, has the soul. Like, or the guy from hell is, like, halfway in it. Yep. And then you open up the bag, and you all watch as this cage flies down in front of her, the soul gets sucked into the cage, and then it locks shut. And I'll gingerly pick out 300 gold. Just say, nice seeing you, Mama. It is good to see you still alive, Somdi. Thank you. Mm, barely. Mm. Just perhaps digitated so it's not <laughs> watery. Uh, you pick up a stack of four basic healing <sighs> potions, uh, and one greater healing potion that she has at the front of the shop for you all. Nice. They look over. So I know this is a bad time to uh, to relay this message, but I did have three of these as, as we're in front of the house, just the basic healing potions. Yeah, you like my, my magical juices. My magical juices. <laughs> Look, I was unconscious before I could tell any of you of my secret slot, of my secret staff. You, you might want to pass those around so we can each keep one. Cornwallis use spell slots. Glenn use spell slots. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I have two one... potions of healing on me, but I haven't needed them because I have spell slots. Wow. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. same. I've got, I think I've got a couple of healing potions somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I've got one. I'm out. I've been I using most my... of my spell slots to heal people. I've I've just, I just that I have to No, do it's give me your potions. I'm just give astonished that you guys decided to go into that fight without drinking potions to heal up because and then a, go into friggin' D4 plus <laughs> two. two D4. Two D4 yeah. plus two. Yeah. It's good to revive people, but I'm out. I don't have any because remember I use mine. You know what's better than going into an encounter with 23 hit points? Going into an encounter with 27 hit points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you had those potions, you should have been chugging them. Damn. <laughs> Most of the things that hit us hit us for a lot more than a healing potion's worth. So. Yeah, but if we all have access and someone goes down, then we can help get that person up. Yeah. I save mine for forcibly putting down people's throats. Yeah. So, uh, what was that? Six, six basics and one greater? Cur uh, no. It was four basics, one greater. Ah. She gave you a discount. Usually that would be nice. 350 gold. Oh, and, uh, how, nice yeah. is how, how are you distributing those? Who's getting the greater? Who's getting the other? I kind of just, like, hand monkey the box. And I walk off straight into the oasis. I'll give uh, Glenn. I'll give you three regulars. Sounds good. And I'll take the other two in a greater. Genesis, you you got something to sip on if you uh, or to get <clears throat> out above the table. I don't know how to say it. If someone goes down, do you, uh, you can always give them a healing potion to help bring them up so they don't have to do death saves. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any healing potions on? Okay. I will give you two regular healing potions to so put on your sheet, and I'll take the greater. So okay, Glenn has three, three regular, Genesis has two regular, and I'll take the greater. Thank you. <clears throat> well, you guys only had four basics. Four basics, one greater. So that's oh, two sorry. monkey, so two, two Glenn, for... one... No, or... two Glenn, two Genesis, and I'll take the greater. Sounds that's good. Uh, yeah. Before you walk out, Samdi, Mama will call out... There is an arranged. <clears throat> there is an arranged. Uh, anticipation to receive one Mr. Bonifazio at Lament Falls if all of you would like to relax there for a couple of days. If not, I'll give it to somebody else. 
Yeah, I need a vacation. Yeah, I can. I can. That would be a so, beach episode. Hot Springs episode. Oh, hot Springs. Oh. That'll Wait, be what we do. There's a, there's a hot springs in casino with weird shit in it. Yeah. yeah keep, you know what it's called? Lament can, Falls. Yeah. We can play some volleyball. Surfing. That was my first game with this group. Lament Falls? Yeah, that's oh, what they yeah. Had. Yeah, Oh, wonderful time. And there's uh, like a see. 28 for his first roll to it's... lie to get all of them in the room. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, so um who was on board with the idea of trying to introduce Glenn to a uh to another undead guy. Well, that should be fun. Which one? Um, the one we made a deal with. Um, you know, he lives under the Lament Falls. In a pyramid. Oh, so oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was wondering what happened to him. Let's go Spe find out. Speaking of dead people, we gotta. We also have some things we have to take care of back at the Hollow. Yeah. 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 But um, not today. <laughs> Yes. Not today. Yeah, not today. So, yeah. here is the handout of all the notable places in Casino. Uh, if you scroll down closer to the bottom, Lament Falls is in there with its description. And usually you need to experience something that makes, you know, you have to lament to be at these spas to gain their benefits. But Mama can pull strings and you just need to convince someone you're Mr. Bonifacio. And his entourage. So whoever wants to be Mr. Bonifacio, next time we come back after my vacation, you can be Mr. Bonifacio. Dibs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. How good is your deception? It's not good. Oh, not no, good. I it's think it great. actually is good. Is it? Your deception is plus 10. Oh, oh that is good. You're that the person good. who, when you get comfortable with talking, you'll be the best talker. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, yeah, you got a plus ten. I got a negative two. Uh, <laughs> we're going. Let's make Glenn to... do it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mr. Bonafazi. Bonafazi. <laughs> hey, Bonafazi. Anyways, we are calling the session here. Everybody, uh, we'll see you in two weeks after my vacation. Bye bye. <laughs>